What is up? The intro's back. Uh, and what's going on? It's Unruly, and I'm back. And uh, yes, I took a little time uh, to make this video because I actually had a problem downloading it uh, while we were at Summer Game Fest. Max had to head back home much earlier, so he's like, hey, I'll get this footage um, uploaded and uh, we could just download it. And I have not been able to download it off of Google Drive, but a couple of days later, I can actually kind of stream it and get some good quality because before it was like 360p and bro, I still can't download this video, but I have to talk about my thoughts. Now and with the old video games, we had a stream with Max and um, Justin Wong and we talked about our feelings in the game. And so far, uh, you can go ahead and see that on Max's channel. Which you probably already have, but here is my solo thoughts so far on the game. And um, first of all, I'm just gonna say, Keep Countess Jade <laughs> I when I when I was there, it was so little time, and once we started really figuring out the sauce, our time was up. So we got two tries because I sat down with Max, and then Max sat down with me. So we got a little extra time with the game, but uh, still not enough time to really really get in there and what i'm gonna say is right out the back you can see the move list right there pause it but there is sauce in the game now the cameos really open up the sauce but even without it there's still a lot you can do without it so that's what makes me kind of happy because the characters are pretty kitted like sub-zero can do some amazing stuff without the cameos plus you throw in the cameos and you really get sauce now right i'm talking about sauce well why do i talk about sauce so much well because it's really important to me i like having fun i like being creative i like fighting games that are basically kind of an open canvas so when i'm fighting i can use whatever style I'd like. I could be combo heavy. I could be a little bit extra defensive and um, you can be a setup character. And that's what the cameo system is doing. But when we played me and Max, we're sauce lords, right? We like games with flashy combos and doing cool stuff. So, I mean, that's what I guess we focused our time when we were playing this, even though right now we're just kind of like hitting buttons and stuff like that. But uh, this was from uh, my time playing the game. But I just, what, like, Here's the good thing that I can say. We were playing and we were ready for more. We were having fun discovering and that is already an amazing sign of a game. We didn't even really get to play that many matches against each other. We were just labbing, but the whole time we were labbing, we were actually having a lot of fun. There was a lot of creativity, a lot of just cool stuff. And when you're labbing and you're like, wait, can I do this? Can I do that? And it's just, that's when it's fun. Like one of the most fun games to lab is like Power Rangers, right? And this gave us a little bit of that. And right there, Max is just doing a little nice dirty corner combo and see, and you know, just like a little cameo at the end. But, um, and like, well, first off, I'm gonna say that I absolutely love the cameo system since I've been seeing a lot of the footage and a lot of people are like, whoa, how do I get no cameos? How do I like, I'm like, Fellas, cameos is the game. That's what this game mode is all about, right? Every single Mortal Kombat has changed and now they've changed again. And you know, cameos are now a part of it. And I actually love it because the cameos just add a new spice to the game. And uh, let's go ahead and talk. But when, like I said, we and Max were combo lords. When I went back and I saw ketchup and mustard labbing, they were even like, they were doing a whole different kind of thing. They were coming up with crazy setups and crazy traps and stuff like that. They weren't necessarily going for big combos, even though they figured out some things like with Kano. Um, you can't combo Sub-Zero's freeze 
not even EX, but with a cameo, especially with Kano's cameo, you can do a string, call in Kano, he throws three knives, and then land the ice ball. So there's a lot of options, but they were doing things like crazy setups, especially with Jax, who has a cameo where he does the ground pound, but it hits both of you. But what you can do is hard knockdown, call in Jax, jump in, and then create a situation that is extremely difficult to block. And that's the beauty of the game now, and I believe that's the cameo system is giving you even extra extra options now you could do a lot of crazy stuff like i said without it but the cameos just really add an extra bit of flavor to the game which i personally love i actually love the the end screens when your characters are just like posing and they're like you know you have your main character and your cameo character i just can't wait i really can't wait and i hope i find a really awesome cameo character that will just fit well with my other right like especially you get that victory pose and they just they look it looks so clean but here we go but yeah i think this time around and they even said it it's creativity like that's luke king's fireball you know before it'd be one he shoots like five fireballs that lead to just extra stuff i played katana katana is a lot more flowy she's a lot more like kind of like even though regal but she does like a butt slam but all her moves are a bit like, yeah, it, it's 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 like I said, it it is it is more uh, uh, reimagining. That's her instead of the uh, that Sonya move that she has. It's now kind of like an air kick that can be ex'd. And we're not really talking about it, but this is the first time because I think there was only one set of headphones, so me and Max didn't wear headphones. Like we went in there, we wanted to see what Netherrealm was cooking and what we saw, what, what we. What they were cooking, we were impressed with. But let's listen to this music. Okay. That music is awesome. And um, the music, I've listened to the music in the other stage and it's pretty good, but I have to say, I really love the vibes of this uh, track and it changes like within the second and third round. So huge improvement so far, what I've heard in the music, it's a lot more gamey, it's got more of a techno sound and I'm really digging it. I really couldn't hear what was going on in the um, main, main thing. It was very serene. I mean, it, which is kind of nice, but it was just like, it felt like, you know, like, I guess it was like the dawn of a new MK, which is nice, but I, I'm, I'm still saying I just want the hype. But like the stage music is great. I think it could be a little bit louder, in, in my opinion. Uh, look at that sauce right there. And then Max is just kind of figuring some stuff out. And I'm trying to like do that. And like, this is like, bro, you only have a few minutes, a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes, like 30 minutes, but still like labbing and looking at your clock because like you want to keep going is it is it is pretty tough but um we should come up with a little bit of sauce but my initial impressions are very very good and actually i got to play sub-zero later and sub-zero is insane insane he has the air dive kick you know everyone gets meterless launcher and i'm like thank god because my problem was every mk from nine and beyond in every game required more and more meter to do cool things. And I'm like, oh, here we go. And what made me sad is, oh, that's a new feature. If you saw that white screen, that white screen is a good th time to like, if you're not doing anything, you better block. So you get that big flash of white light, you better hit the block button or you better stop what you're doing. But going back to what I was saying is like in MK9, I loved it. I used Molina and I didn't need to use hardly any meter to do some nasty combos. I just bread and butters without any meter. I'm doing saucy stuff. And then as games went by a little later on, it required more and more meter. And I'm going to tell you how I choose my characters. I'm like which character? requires me to use the least amount of meter to do something cool and that's usually what i gravitate to right because like i could say if my meter's gone then i'm just stuck not doing much so that's why i always gravitated to molina but with the with the um 
cameo system you have so many options you can do a cameo combo you can do a meter burn combo you can use both and it's going to open up a lot of creativity in the way you play you could just maybe hey i'll just only do my combos with meter and i will just save my cameos for setups or i'm just gonna like go out and just do both combos cameos going crazy so here's the combo that max was cooking in the corner it is oh man it is so cool i'm, I'm just gonna let this rock okay that was me i think I'm trying I'm trying to get that off and here's one thing combos there we go there we go kenny all right <laughs> uh combos require timing they are not easy like especially when it comes to the cameos you have to call them out at the right time so yeah it is uh okay max just burnt out all his cameos but that's like something that's just really cool so there's gonna be a lot i don't know if there's gonna be anything like a um oh yeah see you can charge moves you, there's gonna be a lot of mind games with the cameo system and which just makes me happy um I love the designs of the character. Katana looks fantastic. Liu Kang, great. Sub-Zero as well. I, I, I would say I, I would like him to, to have the hood, but we don't know uh, what's gonna happen. But um, I, I hope we can get him with the hood, but I'm saying like, even without the hood, the ninja hood, they look fantastic. But here we go. Um, let's see if I could forward this because this is basically streaming and uh, we can see if we can get a- Now that we serve ourselves. Okay, here we go. Here we, we'll do a little sauce. All right. And yeah, then, then there's the Sub-Zero I was talking about. I really dig them. I really dig the look. Normally, I like the hood and everything, but I don't know. Maybe because they're really hot, right? <laughs> they're pretty attractive. I'm just going to say, everyone in this game is supermodels that fight and kill each other, and it's awesome. The katana just looks fantastic. And like, I'm saying, like, this game looks... 10 times better than what you're even seeing now. When you see it just run, it is fantastic. So, uh, here we go. That's just like a little... Right there, like a, a string into a cameo. One of the katana's new moves. Alright, let's see. Yeah, just stuff like that. Even I don't even, even stuff with cameos just make combos look cooler. Round two, fight. All right, let's see what else what we got. Yeah, air fan. Yeah, you can see how Katana's a lot more fluid. Like right when she throws her fan in the air, she does a flip. Here we go. Pink, pink, pink. All right, I'm just, I'm like supposed to be talking about the game, but I'm just, I am like legit having fun looking at it. But look at that nice old school jump kick into the thing. And, um, all right, let's go to this next round and just let you see a lot. But overall, I wanted to say, yes, look at this. Come on, that's pretty saucy. You, you, we want to run it back? We, we could run it back. Okay, here we go. yeah right just stuff like that and i have to say like the animation has been really improved like katana has a lot more um how would i say style to her right she's especially with her air uh fan with the flips it just looks fantastic sub-zero i mean i didn't even get to really listen to this stuff but now that i've been watching other people's like he sounds like he's kind of a mean guy right he sounds like he might be you know noob cybot or something like that and this stage the music on this stage like this one i was talking about it was kind of on the light side so. but here we go oh dropped it here we go oh All right, sorry, I'm supposed to be talking about it, but I'm just really enjoying it. Let's see, do we have any Sub-Zero sauce? Oh yeah, so there's Sub-Zero's meterless launcher. And just right there. And Sub-Zero's meterless launcher is an overhead, which is awesome. Thank you. 
Boom, 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 boom. All right. See, I'm, I'm just finding myself watching the video as I'm making the video. But um, let's see. Hopefully we get some more sauce. And like I said, we only had a little bit of time. And if Netherrealm, if you do watch this, I would just have to say, um, you know, especially when you have people capture footage, like maybe in the future, if you can have like an area maybe where, you know, people can lab if they want to, especially like for people like Justin, for Ketchup and Mustard, for, you know, like Caboose and all the, you know, the creators that maybe focus a little bit more on gameplay and combos and so forth like that. Maybe just a lab, like, hey, 30 minute lab session. Here's some monitors right here where you can lab and then you can go over here and record. That would be my only um, request like for the future that way you know people like Max and all of us can get like some really good like footage because most of it is just labbing and seeing what the game is about but if we had 30 minutes to lab before um, most of our gameplay would look much cooler we probably have some bread and butters we probably have a little bit more understanding and we could probably lab for a little less but that was just my only thing but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I can't wait the stress test is going to happen very soon so I hope you guys do enjoy it. My guess is it's going to be this, what you see here, right? Because creating builds is very tough. I could be surprised. Maybe they can have more. Um, I would, I'm not going to lie. I was a little sad when I didn't see Melina. But hey, you know what? I'm just happy I got to play the game. I'm happy she's in it. I, and I can't wait. But who knows? Maybe we'll get like four characters. Maybe it'll be three characters. Maybe it'll be this build. I'm, I'm thinking it'll probably be this build. But whatever we get, I will be excited for it. And um, I hope you guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Will this be full screen me? Yeah, there I am, chat, right in Blue Town. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Have a good one. Peace.